Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back. An easy way to make sure your home is warm in the winter and cool in the summer is to have the proper amount of insulation in your home. We're here at a house today where spray foam insulation is being installed. Let's go check it out. This is Mark Eichinger with Arctic Insulation. And Mark, we're talking about uh, insulation and foam insulation. There's many different types. Can you tell us a little bit about the options that are available? Yeah, the two main types of foam that are out on the market today are open cell foam and closed cell foam. Yeah, you used closed cell. Tell us a little bit about your closed cell foam insulation. Well, closed cell foam has tiny cells that basically stay trapped when it's sprayed on, okay, and that traps the gases, leads to strength in our value. Uh, in this particular application, we put on about an inch and a half to two inches to help give us a, a good sound air barrier, a vapor barrier, and help add to the overall efficiency of the wall. Now, many of our viewers are familiar with blown in insulation we might put up in our attic. How does that, your process here, how does that differ? Yeah, this is the exact same stuff that you would find in the attic of your home. Uh, we basically dense pack it underneath of the netting. That allows the air to escape out of it. This way you don't have any settling in the future, but it also is a much more cost-effective way of doing it. Okay, and, and we're talking R value here. What do we expect or, from this? This wall cavity here is going to get you around an R30. Okay. Now, we're looking at the uh, exterior wall for this application? Correct. Okay, and, and you're putting down this, what, an uh, inch or so, or how much? Uh... Yeah, this is about an inch and a half to two inches. Price-wise, what are we looking at? A little more expensive here? In this particular application, we've gone with a hybrid system that'll help minimize the cost of it. If we were to fill the entire cavity, you're looking at about 10 times the cost of traditional fiberglass. If you were to fill your entire stud cavity full of foam, uh, you're not going to get back in there without a, a sawzall or something to cut in through it. With this particular system, it's kind of nice because you have the fiberglass in the front that'll enable you to access the wall if you do have a plumbing or an electrical problem. Now, uh, new application, new home application versus retrofit? Yeah, this would be only in a new construction application. Uh, there are other retrofit types of foams available for use. Okay, and mainly on exterior walls, could I use it in my in a attic and a ceiling? Uh, you certainly can use it. Uh, most people are going to option for the exterior wall application. It can be done in the attic. The hybrid is really a neat way to do it. I mean, it's, it's economical because if they went in and sprayed the whole house, it, what do you say, about 10 times as much? This way, again, they're bringing the best practices to make your house more energy efficient. Now, walk us, I know your crew is going to be in here working. Walk us through the process. What, what goes on to, to do this? Uh, tell us a little bit of what, what we'll see happening here. Uh, well, the first thing we're going to do is we'll come in and we'll prep the wall to make sure that we keep everything good from overspray. Uh, in this particular application, we don't have windows in yet, but if we did, we would cover all the windows and make sure that everything is safe from getting o any overspray on it. Uh, and then, as long as the optimal temperature is here, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Now, I know your crew is all covered up. Uh, you have to take some precautions when you're applying this, correct? Yes, it is a chemical, uh, so it does have a chemical reaction, so safety is a concern. And best to leave it to the experts, the professionals to do this? I would recommend hiring a an expert installer, yes. Okay. What about using spray foam, uh, other applications, other places that where it does work or doesn't work, Mark? Uh, the best application to use it is going to be the areas that you have a hard time getting to, uh, your band joist areas, gaps, cracks, things like that. Uh, if you have enough money in your budget, you know, then you can move on to things like the walls and the ceilings. And again, it's all about sealing and keeping the keeping your home tight, right, and keeping the air and the drafts out. Correct. Yeah, air infiltration is the biggest value of your foam. And that's the great thing that you have here. Correct. Mark, thank you. A lot of great information. And if you'd like to learn more about spray foam insulation and how it can help your home, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.